Yeah, dude. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, buddy! Feel the mist of the freaking waves breaking. All right, let's get a little altitude. Check things out for a second. It's so freaking beautiful, dude. Beach flying is pretty awesome, but it's definitely not my favorite type of flying. Basically, what we got going on is laminar wind coming off the ocean, just blowing straight inland. And that means it's super smooth, laminar air, and you can basically sit out here all day and just cruise the uh, shoreline. But you know, after a while of just going back and forth on the shoreline, it gets a little bit boring. So. The fun thing I like to do, if there's consistent enough wind that you can kite the wing, I like to just hook in for touch and goes on the beach. I think I'm going to do that a little bit. And then maybe we'll cruise down and fly past those buildings off in the distance. The only thing you got to be aware of, obviously there's a shit ton of water out here and I have my flotation on, but even though I'm wearing the flotation, I'm not going to you know, like rely strictly on it. I always want to be in a situation where I can come in and land either on the water or either on the sand or in this shallow water here uh, the other thing to keep in mind is when I do touch and goes and run on the sand you have to be really careful not to kick up sand into your propeller or else you sandblast the shit out of the propeller and that's not good all right I'm gonna swing around we'll come in uh, not over any people, of course. We'll come in over the, I don't know what uh, what those things are, mangroves. We'll try to land it right near Jacqueline. I see a good spot. It's beautiful up here. <laughs> Gotta make sure I have enough room to run. Oh yeah! How rad is that? <laughs> Just cruise over the waves breaking. The other cool thing is most of the time, as a lot of you know, I fly during sunrise or sunset. And there's actually a big difference when the sun is high in the sky and everything is lit up like this. It's just so much more beautiful. What's up, bros? <laughs> All right, let's get some serious altitude. I'll do a couple wing overs, then we'll go for another touch and go. Hashtag flat earth. So basically the higher up I get, the farther out over the ocean I can get also because I can glide downwind back to the shoreline. It is a weird feeling though being out here over just this vast open water. Well, while we're up here I'm going to take a quick thumbnail picture. Try really hard not to drop my phone in the water. Hashtag sock tan. Okay, I'm going to position myself out over the water a little bit more so I can do some wing overs slash barrel rolls and the wind drift will push me closer to the shore but not past it. And then we'll come in for another touch and go. Okay, that's looking good. Let's see what we can do here.
One more dirty low wing over. Coming right up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Send it. You always got to watch out for fishing lines. You know, it's tempting to just go straight across this water here real low. You don't want to catch someone's fishing pole. All right, beach is clear. That last touch and go, I went a little bit long, so I had to get back up off the ground really quick in a short distance. So I'm going to try to make this one a little bit shorter. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. That's such a rad feeling. Basically just jumping into the air over the ocean. So sick. That one was still a little bit long. I'm gonna come in again. Try to put it down right next to Jacqueline. These mangrove looking things are intimidating. They're a little bit taller than the surrounding area. All right. And touch my toes in the water. <laughs> That's another thing too is if you spray too much water up into your prop doing water foot drags without any tape on your prop, it'll chew the finish right off. Just hit exactly three hours on the Scout. So fresh. It's a solid way to break in a fresh motor. Do some flying in Florida. Lake Wales, come out to the beach. All right, let's try some powered wing overs. Not that high, so I'm not gonna be able to get many in. A little small one at the end. Nice and smooth. That's the unique thing about flying on the beach. Although there's like a steady 10 miles an hour of wind, the wind is so extremely smooth. It's kind of like, flying on a treadmill, you could say. Let's get one more touch and go in. And then I think I'll come in and uh, come in for a landing. I'm gonna try this one a little bit deeper in the brakes. This tree here is so tall, it's hard to get down in time. Land right on somebody's tank castle. No joke. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> right at that crashing wave. This beach is so narrow, it's challenging to come in over those taller mangroves, uh, clear them, and get down in time before you eat up all your runway. All right, I think I'm gonna come in for a landing and keep it down this time. Uh, but first, I just wanna give you guys a little bit of an update, what's coming up next, what our plan is. I'll probably do one more video flying from the beach here, and we'll go down that way and explore those buildings I pointed out probably do that one at sunset so look forward to that and after that later this week we're gonna be heading up to Lake Wales again we're gonna start the training for the paradigm team for the Sun and Fun air show flight so that'll be rad I'm gonna see how much I can film of that and then the actual Sun and Fun event right after Sun and Fun I'm gonna be heading back to New Jersey and by then it should be pretty much springtime in New Jersey so more flying more fun on this brand new Scout and uh, I think I'm gonna end it here we'll trail off with some music and a landing back down at the beach so till next time peace out guys see you in the next one Wap. Thank you.